हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम प्राची टूडेज आई एम गोइंग टू गिव दी इन्फॉर्मेशन और टूडेज वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन दी प्रैक्टिकल नंबर थ्री एंड फोर ऑफ मेंटेनेंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इक्विपमेंट सो दी प्रैक्टिकल नंबर थ्री इज एम ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल नंबर थ्री इज दैट कैरी आउट वीकली मंथली ईयरली मेंटेनेंस ऑफ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर इन लेबोरेटरी सो कोर्ट आउटकम्स आर मेंटेन रोटेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन प्रैक्टिकल आउटकम्स आर लाइफ लॉन्ग लर्निंग एबिलिटी टू एनालिसिस इंडिविजुअल नीड्स एंड एप्रोप्रिएट एंड एंगेज अपडेटिंग इन दी कॉन्टेंट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सेकेंड इज प्रॉब्लम एनालिसिस दैट इज आइडेंटिफाई एंड एनालाइज वेल डिफाइंड इंजीनियरिंग प्रॉब्लम्स यूजिंग स्टैंडर्ड मेथड्स सो दी थेरी इज दैट मेंटेन इट is the action necessary for retain, retaining or restoring a piece of equipment or machine to the specified opera, operable condition to achieve its maximum useful life maintenance can classified into two group first is the restorative repairs maintenance it is the most primary type of repair it arises after the fault being carried out it has mainly disadvantages like lesser time for the useful life of the machine second is the protective maintenance this type of maintenance form can be referred to the schedule of planned maintenance actions aimed at the prevent of breakdown and failure it can be defined as anything that increase the life of equipment and helps it runs more so this is the theory and life more efficiency then the maintenance program for every week example uh, first is examine commutator and brushes second is examine the starter switch fuse and other controls uh, third is see that machine brought up to rotate speed in normal time or not fourth is check the level of oil in bearing next is the maintenance program for every 5 uh, to 6 month means half yearly clean motor thr uh, thoroughly uh, blowing out dirt from winding and wipe commutator and brushes second is check brushes and replace any that are more than half worn third is examine brush holders and clean them if dirty make sure that brushes ride free in the holders fourth is drain wash out and replace oil in sleeve bearing so the fifth is check grease in bowl or roller bearing see that all cover and belt and gear guard are in place in good order and securely fastened seventh is inspect and tighten connection on motor and control so the next is the maintenance program for every year first is clean out and re renew uh, grease in bowl or roller bearing housing second is clean out magnetic dot that may be cleaning to poles third is check clearance between shaft and journal boxes of the sleeve bearing motors to prevent operation with own bearing fourth is clean out undercut slots in the commutator check the commutator for smoothness fifth is examine connections between commutator and armature coil so this is the practical number third and conclusion last is the conclusion from this given information we have learned the maintenance of three phase induction motor so this is the practical number third and then the experiment number four is that this is the experiment number four and aim of this is determine the performance of no load and load test on single phase induction motor so the apparatus are ammeter voltmeter and wattmeter ammeter is 0 to 10 ampere 0 to 20 ampere or volt and voltmeter is 0 to 300 volt wattmeter is 300 volt 10 ampere and 300 volt 20 ampere so the circuit diagram is that see this diagram and draw it then the next is pen work m relevant course outcomes pos that is the practical outcomes relevant program outcomes practical outcomes is important that is the determination of the performance of no load and load test on single phase induction motor
so the this is the breakdown and observation table this is the nameplate details apparatus and no load test procedure this is the procedure on no load test first is connection are made as per circuit diagram second is apply the rated voltage to induction motor by varying auto transformer so that the machine runs at rated speed third is the motor is run without load and its rated speed fourth is note down the corresponding ammeter voltmeter and voltmeter readings so this is the observation table and then the result thus no load and load test is performed on single phase capacitor start and cap run induction motor this is the fifth point in the no load and uh, then the load test so this is the procedure of load test and then the result so what is the result thus no load test and load test is performed on single phase capacitor start and run induction motor so this is the practical number 4 uh the procedure is same so in the next lecture we see the next practicals of maintenance of electrical equipment so thank you